YouTube, your boy the Flying Spinner here today. We have a triple modern unboxing for you. Uh, so the top two I've got from Aviation Retail Direct. I'm not going to let you guess what they are because, well, they're not in a box or anything, so you can see what they are. Uh, the bottom one, I'll let you give a bit of a guess. It's a JC Wings model. Um, they had already released kind of a version of this aircraft but just on a tiny different livery and um, there wasn't too much different and when i did the unboxing of that other livery i did say "Ooh, when they release a another version of this another livery of this model uh, which was on the box um i'd get it and now i've got it so uh it's a i'll give you uh, how to make it obvious it's a bit of BA. It's similar to BA in Aer Lingus, but a different European country. Yeah, if that makes sense. So uh, yeah, have a guess. I'll uh, unbox the first two models um, and then I'll get into that one last because well, that one's the surprise. So starting with the top two we have, what I'm gonna do is I'm going old school and uh, holding my phone, so, you know, that's always fun. Because the tripod's kind of behind the Christmas tree uh, box, so, yeah, can't be asked for that. Right, United 737 Max, I believe it's a Dash 9. Oh no, Max 8. Um, got this in Aviation Retail Direct's Black Friday sale. So, this was only, what, 20, 26 quid in the end? And I did put my United there, um... Right. I've got new livery United 73s, but they're the old um, normal 800s of Ford Gear Max, just because, you know, future proof. So, overall, it's Aero Classic, so I still don't quite know how I feel about them. Uh, if I do a bit of zoomage, um, hopefully it picks up onto that. Oh, God, it's so much. I can never tell if it's better doing it off this camera or worse. I'm going to say it's worse. Oh, it really likes flipping around the cameras. Um, I still don't know how I feel with Aero Classics. They're a bit like, look at that kind of winglet on the other side. It's square. And, is that one square from there? That one's really square. What the hell's going on? Right, that far one's really square. And the bottom one's really pointy. They're a bit weird. They um, People are saying oh, their A320 mold's amazing. It's like the best, one of the best ones out there. Yeah, I don't rate them. I'd, I'd rather have antennas and bits like that rather than a slightly more curved nose or something like that. Um, print's always good. The actual quality of the printing and all bits like that is great. But they're just still a bit slacking in the old antenna department, like the gear. They just, the print, like the decals are good, but they're not like NG model level decals. Which, you know, it's something we have to think about, and they're not exactly cheap. Um, can't really complain too much about this one, considering I've got it a sale. Overall, um, it's the Evo Blue Jeffrey, so you can't go wrong with it. Looks really nice, uh, and I apologise for the yellow tin, that's because of course I've got my main light on, because it's dark outside. Um, yeah, overall, it's era classic, so make what you want, make what you want um, of them. I'm never too sure. Um, I'll put that one away. Oh, I, don't, I never put them away. Right, actually, I'll put that one on top of the box in the cradle. Right, next one. So, this one's a bit of a weird one. I did order it and completely forgot that I ordered it. And so they said, hello, your uh, model's ready for collection. Please pay. Oh, great, okay. So, it's... From a company called BT400, they uh, advertised it under the Aero Classics um, section of the website. And I've got no, like Aero Classics, have, I don't think have got a 759, so I don't know if it is a subsidiary of Aero Classics, they're releasing a DHL kind of in secret or whatever. But it's BT400, whoever that is. Um, I have got this out already in the store, not completely out but just kind of out the box and looking around the cradle it looks really good it comes with a little stand as well which is always quite nice uh box wise you've got a little window um 
Yeah. Nothing really special, just it's a box with pictures of the plane and stuff on it. What more do you want? Right, cracking it open. As Sarah said to the guy in the shop, it's nice you get a stand these days. So yeah, you get a stand. That's a rarity. Then we have to pay about 50 quid for a stand. So I have, of course, already got a DHO or something like that. Oh, I fancied another one. Because this one's got winglets and my other one doesn't. And I really like the some DHL Sun Fighter Ringlets. It has got a different, so this one is a passenger converted freighter. So what I like is they've included the details. If I can get zoom in close enough. Sorry, my mat looks really dirty. It's not really, it's not that dirty, but it just looks really dirty. Oh, the, that yellow, I promise you the yellow isn't that it looks like it's literally gl glowing and all the doors and everything. The camera's really struggling on this yellow with, uh, of course, the light yellow as well. Um, it is the correct shade in person. It is kind of like an orangey yellow tint. Um, same as, I'd say, similar to the NG model shading rather than, of course, the horrendous Phoenix shading. So I'm really struggling to try and work out which mold this is. Because it's got, oh god, just three times it. Because it's got the cutout, because the wings and the underbelly is all moulded rather than the wings slot into the underbelly, I'm going to go with this as a Gemini JC mould. So if I do some zoomage, you've got a little cargo door, and god, that's nuts. It actually it looks cartoony. I've got no idea what's going on here. Oh, that was fine. I actually kind of swapped out the uh, swapped out the camera, so you can just about see all the windows in there. This quality is terrible. I do apologise, but I'm going to keep it up anyway because it's all fun. Um, yeah, registration Golf Delta Hotel Kilo Charlie. I uh, got the RB211 engines. I uh, got the yellow ringlets and all good stuff. It actually is a really nice model. Uh, the quality's there. The, of course, you can see all the. All the old, they've put, included the old window prints. Um, decent bit of undercarriage and like kind of pack bays and all that kind of gear doors, rat doors, all sorts of doors going on. Um, yeah, overall, that's a nice model. I do not if I hold holding all as well. It's like a solid grip. Right, not keeping it too long. On to the next one, on to the secret model. I hope you've got your guesses in. I would say put in the comments where you could just go to the end of the video and uh, just put your comments in then because then you'd know what the model was. So hopefully you've had a little think about it and maybe a little guess. You probably haven't. So um, I'm, I'll tell you anyway. So in here, I took off all the sellotape parts and this tiny little bit and now that's the only bit I've got on. This has come from Hong Kong or China, one of the two, from the old JC uh, Johan Chan 2004 uh, on eBay, who is, I think, Mr. JC Wings himself. So we have the Iberia A320 Neo. So congratulations if you did guess that. If you didn't, well, congratulations anyway for existing. We have, so, exactly the same box as the other one, uh, apart from this one is in the standard livery, uh, whereas the other one I've got is in the one world livery. So, must have the variation. Um, I might do something interesting. I might make an airport update for this week, or get it out this week and put it up next week. Um, something interesting with a BA shuttle, because I can use an Iberia, because they're using Iberias at the moment, and it's really weird, because there's loads of Iberias everywhere. It's either looking thin air, Iberia, or whoever. There's a, a good variety. So, JC Wings 320 Neo mold. Can't go wrong. It's not an era classic mold, so it's all right. Right, I'll put you on the box. This camera is really contrasty. That's a word. 
So zoom me in. Wow, oh, look at that zoom. Oh, it's blurry. So, Bandana Windows, one world logo, Iberia title, and some kind of Spanish name wording. Oh, no, I think it says AP20 Neo under there. Some kind of Spanish wording at the front. I can't read it, nor can I speak Spanish. Did try on GCSE, but failed. Um, Iberia on the engines. Um, it's got the same kind of towel design on the inner winglet with just a normal red winglet shark. Sorry, sharklet on the uh, outside. Registration of the model is Echo Charlie November Oscar November. Um, and yeah, it's just in a plain Iberia delivery. Nothing too exciting. The kind of standard, um, boring European, bog standard European livery, to be honest. Um, nothing too exciting. Uh, details are good. The wings are still there and attached and everything like that, which of course makes a change. Uh, with today's quality standards, but JC wings have never actually been that bad for me personally. I always think they're quite reliable. Underbelly, nice and a nice amount of detail on there. Of course, gear doors and of course pack bays, some antennas. Uh, engines are really nice in detail for the cowling latches and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you uh, if this is still available, I recommend picking it up from. Uh, Johan Chan, 2004, I believe, on eBay, or um, picking up from JC Wings for their website themselves, uh, as it always takes absolutely donkeys for the um, retailers to get hold of the models, uh, which is always fun. But yeah, that kind of concludes. Unboxing's been a bit of a mess. Been awake since 4 o'clock this morning due to work. I just thought I'd get the unboxing done because then I can uh, tidy up my United. Uh, United and American Airlines collection, which is currently on the bed. Just waiting for that next to go in. So, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully I will see you in the next one. I'll uh, have a good day, or evening, or whatever, and speak to you later. Adios, and goodbye.